Hey, Happy New Year. Um, we weren't really planning on doing this, but uh, I figured that why not? I just want to show you a really fun cocktail that um, that's really easy and that's also pretty delicious that you can make with our series of uh, ingredients here. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to move these for a second. What we're going to do is we're going to make a Manhattan for New Year's Eve. Uh, in case you don't know, um, my dad and I both work in Manhattan, or we did work in Manhattan. I w became unemployed due to COVID, and my dad retired in December last year. So he's been, he's been back in New Hampshire for a year. Uh, I've used my unemployed time to spend time up at the distillery and to help him out there and to make these videos. Um, but... Uh, Manhattan was where I was born. It's been a really big part of my life. And, uh, this is, this is Manhattan right here. So what better than to make Manhattan for New Year's Eve, where the biggest New Year's Eve celebration is, and, uh, with our spirits from Cold Garden. All right, so here we go. This is going to be a little bit different than a traditional Manhattan. Don't get, don't get your panties in a twist, please. Um, just bear with me. So we're going to start with, uh, our straight bourbon which is our new, it's aged for two years. It's made from local grains and it is delicious. So traditionally, your, uh, your Manhattan is made with bourbon or rye. Uh, we're gonna do it with bourbon. I like to, because I'm lazy and I don't wanna measure out a million different things in a million different ways super accurately, I just use a shot glass, so feel free to just use a shot glass. So we start with our base of bourbon. Then uh, normally you add a sweet vermouth. What we're going to do instead is we're going to add our palm o, which I think is a really great substitute for sweet vermouth in a lot of different recipes. So we're going to add about half as much palm o as we would bourbon. So because we don't have a brandy cherry, we do have our sour cherry eau de vie, which is a cherry brandy. Uh, but in order to bring a little bit more sweetness into it, I'm going to add a tiny little bit of our maple bourbon. If I can open it. Got it. All right, so I'm only gonna add a tiny little bit of this. It is very sweet, because it is maple syrup, but it's really good. It's going in there. And then traditionally, your Manhattan has a cherry on top. So like I said, we don't have brandied cherries here, but I do have cherry brandy. So I am going to add a little tiny bit of our sour cherry eau de vie. Smells so good. So I'm doing about the same amount as the vermouth. All right. So, so far we have bourbon, palmo instead of vermouth, a little bit of syrup to give it a little bit of sweetness, and uh, cherry eau de vie instead of a brandied cherry. Now, what you also want is your bitters. These are made by our friend, Young Greg, who uh, makes these at his home. They're not for sale, unfortunately, but they're really good. So. You start with aromatic bitters. You can do this, or you can do Angostura bitters, your standard Angostura bitters. And I'm gonna do two dashes. One, two. And then a citrus bitter. Angostura also sells an orange bitter that you can use, and most recipes I do think call for an actual orange bitter. So, one, boom. Okay, then we're gonna, Yorick. Okay, 
then we're gonna stir it. Uh, I don't have a big swizzle stick or anything, so I'm just gonna do it with my hand. All right. And then again, I don't have a strainer. You don't need any of those things to do a simple cocktail, but they make it a little bit easier. So uh, I'm just gonna do this. All right. Here we go. Cold Garden Manhattan. That's so good. Ah, I really recommend you guys try this out. Uh, if you do, tag us on social media. We are at Cold Garden Distillery on Instagram and Cold Garden Spirits on Facebook, or you can check us out at coldgardenspirits.com. Uh, we are now closed for the season, but you can still place orders online and come pick them up. And uh, we hope that we see you either for curbside or in the new year. Uh, here's to the best, cheers.